we want to graph the absolute value function using the vertex and the intercepts. We were given f of x equals two times the absolute value of the quantity dx plus three minus four, which is the standard form of an absolute value function, where if a is positive, the v opens up, if a is negative, the v opens down, and h comma k is the vertex. So looking at the given function, notice how a is equal to two. Because a is equal to two, we know the v opens up because two is positive. And now let's find h and k. We need to be careful about the sign of h. Notice how it has to be in the form of x minus h, and we have x plus three. Remember, x plus three is equivalent to x minus negative three, and therefore h is negative three. Whenever we have addition, h is negative. If we have subtraction, h is positive. And k is the constant on the end, k is negative four. So now we know the vertex is negative three comma negative four. And now let's determine the horizontal intercepts or x-intercepts. Every point on the horizontal or x-axis has a y-coordinate function value of zero, which is why to find the horizontal intercepts, we set y equal to zero or f of x equal to zero. So if we set f of x equal to zero, we have the equation zero equals two times the absolute value of the quantity x plus three minus four. And now we solve for x by first isolating the absolute value. So we add four to both sides, giving us four equals two times the absolute value of the quantity x plus three. And then we divide both sides by two, giving us two equals the absolute value of the quantity x plus three. And now we set up and solve two equations because we know the absolute value of positive two is two, and the absolute value of negative two is also two. So x plus three can equal positive two, or x plus three can equal negative two. And now we solve for x by subtracting three on both sides. For the first equation, two minus three is equal to negative one, giving us x equals negative one. Subtracting three on both sides here, negative two minus three is negative five. So we have two horizontal or x-intercepts, as ordered pairs, we have negative five comma zero and negative one comma zero. And now let's determine the vertical or y-intercept. Every point on the vertical intercept has an x value of zero. So to find the vertical intercept, we set x equal to zero or evaluate f of zero. f of zero is equal to two times the absolute value of the quantity zero plus three minus four. Zero plus three is three. The absolute value of three is three. So we have two times three minus four. Two times three is six. Six minus four is two. The vertical intercept is two, which is the ordered pair zero comma two. And now let's graph the function. Let's first plot the vertex at negative three comma negative four, which is here. And then we have the horizontal intercepts, which are negative five comma zero, negative one comma zero, and we have the vertical intercept of zero comma two, which is here. And now we have enough information to make a nice graph of the absolute value function. I hope you found this helpful.